for that using the scientific method. Now, this is going to be very important next year because when you write laboratory reports, you're going to need to provide a diagram of the apparatus setup. And you'll have to do this in the scientific way. Now, the good news is it's very, very easy to draw in science. You don't need any particular artistic skill. It's all about getting into good habits. You will now need a sharp pencil and a ruler and a piece of paper in order to be doing these diagrams as we are going through them. OK, so our first piece of equipment that we're going to look at is the measuring cylinder. Very straightforward. You're going to need to have two parallel lines like so. And one perpendicular line at the bottom. There we have it. I'm going to tidy this up a little bit. I've got the advantage of not needing a ruler, of course. I'm able to draw straight lines on the screen. You will need your ruler. And that's what a measuring cylinder looks like in science. Very, very easy indeed. Notice I've added no detail about the scale. I've added no shading. I've not attempted to do anything in 3D. So it's very, very easy to draw in science. OK, let's look at something else. So you'll be using test tubes a lot, and that's roughly what a test tube that you'll use will look like. Now, how do we draw that in science? Again, you start off with your parallel lines, like so. Now, there is a clear curve at the bottom of the test tube. So you're going to do this part freehand, obviously. You're going to use a ruler where you can and then use freehand where necessary. OK, so a test tube will look like that. Next up, we've got a beaker. Now, this is something that you'll be using very regularly indeed. Again, dead simple to draw. Three lines and you are done. OK, let me tidy up that corner a little bit. You don't even need to show the lip here like they're showing there. It's not really necessary. That's what a beaker would look like. Now let's do a filter funnel and this will be used to separate substances. Again, slightly trickier than the ones we've done before, but not too difficult at all. We've got two parallel lines quite close together, so that would, sh that would represent this part of the filter funnel. And then we've got just a sort of V-shape here, like so. So one, two, three, four straight lines, simple as that. Now, I do want to draw your attention to the fact that we don't close off the line here. This is not closed off. And the reason for that is because you do not close off a line if the vessel or the thing that you're drawing is open. So as you can see, this top part is open. Things can be poured in. That's why we have no line across here. I have seen many students draw um, draw like this where they draw that top line across that would be incorrect you need to try to make sure you show whether something is open or not if I just go quickly back to the previous diagram you can see there's no line across the top here that indicates that the beaker is open things can enter it uh, if I go back to the test tube the same situation there there's no line across the top here which indicates that it is open and the same for the measuring cylinder so you do not um, do not draw a line if the vessel is open okay tripod i've already drawn this one out this is one that students do um struggle with because they always attempt to do it in 3d now you don't need to do it in 3d and therefore you only need to show two legs of the tripod the tripod again is super simple to draw you just need one two three lines like so now last but not least we've got the bunsen burner which we'll be showing you how to light in a moment now this again is very straightforward. You've got two parallel lines. Now if you're doing this artistically, it would probably be quite challenging to draw, but not in the scientific way. I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to the bottom because if you look at this now, it does look very similar to a measuring cylinder. So it's worth adding uh, a little bit more detail to the base. You might want to do something like that. Whoops, that's not working for me. Let's try again. You might want to do something like that to indicate that it's different from a measuring cylinder. Another very useful thing to do is to show with an arrow. I often show that and write something like heat here. OK, and you'll see that in a lot of textbooks where they indicate that the Bunsen burner is producing heat. So that makes it very clear that it's not a measuring cylinder that you're drawing. OK, so you've learned how to draw six pieces of scientific apparatus and hopefully you've also realized just how easy it is to draw in science. 
Now, when you're doing a lab report, you'll actually have to show how you set up the scientific apparatus. So let's try to show how we would draw um, a diagram that is showing someone heating up some water with a Bunsen burner. So let's have a quick go. You can do this as well. If you want, you can pause the video now so that, um, so that you can try to do it before me. Let's have a go. Right, so, whoops, I want a straight line. Here we go. All right, let me straighten that up. So we've got a tripod. Like so on that tripod, we'll actually have something called a wire gauze, which you haven't seen just yet, but you'll see one soon. Obviously, your water will be in a beaker. So there's the beaker and the water will be heated up by the Bunsen burner. Now, I'm not even going to bother with the uh, additional detail to the Bunsen burner here because it's obvious from where it is that it is a Bunsen burner, not a measuring cylinder. I might put in a, a quick arrow indicating indicating that heat has been produced like that. So here we've got a very simple diagram of the apparatus setup if you were using a Bunsen burner to heat up some water. I could just put a line across there to show that that's water. Now the other thing you'd need to do is to label that and in science, we do have a specific way to label. We have to make sure that the line that is used to indicate the label is actually touching the piece of apparatus that you're talking about. So just to indicate what I mean by that, and I'll change the color here of the line to any sort of color. The line should touch the tripod if I'm labeling the tripod. The line should touch the beaker if I'm labeling the beaker. The line should touch the Bunsen burner if I'm labeling that. The line should touch the wire gauze if I'm labeling that. OK, that's a bit of a struggle for me to touch there. So we can write our labels in now. I'll just quickly pause the video so I can do that. So there we have it. That's our final diagram that shows all the apparatus in the correct places. If someone wanted to copy this experiment, they'd know how to set it up. And with all the labels drawn correctly and with the correct name for the apparatus. OK, I hope. Hopefully now you know how to draw in the scientific way. And remember, this is going to be something that you're going to be doing a lot next year.